Greetings, everyone. I'm Dr. Francis Collins, director of the U.S. National Institutes of Health, the world's leading funder of biomedical research. I wish I could be there with you today in Barcelona to join in the launch of a historic global initiative that will, among other things, designate every September 24th as World Cancer Research Day. Dr. Roger Glass, the NIH Associate Director for Global Health Research and Director of the Fogarty International Center, is there with you in person to represent me and all of your many NIH friends. Be assured that I am also there in spirit. And like each of you, I enthusiastically support the World Declaration for Research on Cancer and its efforts to pull the international research community together to accelerate progress in this vital area. As you may have heard, cancer is on the rise in both developed and developing nations. Consequently, researchers around the world must take urgent action to develop new strategies for detecting, treating, and ultimately preventing this leading cause of death and lost productivity. Such action will require cooperation and collaboration at an unprecedented scale in the all-important areas of funding of research, of training, and of public awareness. But the good news is that scientific opportunities in the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of cancer have never been better. Much of the scientific progress against cancer is being built upon knowledge generated by another global initiative that I had the privilege of leading, the International Human Genome Project. That public project, successfully completed in April of 2003, sequenced the three billion DNA letters in the human genetic code. Such information is crucial for understanding cancer because genetic changes are responsible for driving the uncontrolled cell growth that characterizes cancer in its many varied forms. Assisted by rapidly falling costs of DNA sequencing, the International Cancer Genomics Consortium has gone on to provide a wealth of widely available information about DNA changes that cause normal cells to become malignant, identifying a growing list of new drug targets. With breathtaking advances in cancer immunotherapy also emerging, now is the time to accelerate the effort to end cancer as we know it, as is being championed in the United States right now by the Vice President and the Cancer Moonshot, and as is being very visibly and importantly highlighted today in Spain with the World Declaration for Research on Cancer and the launch of World Cancer Research Day. We all know that stepping up the global fight against cancer won't be easy. Cancer is indeed a formidable foe. Still, I'm confident that spurred by the visionary leadership of the Asociación Española Contra el Cancer, the AECC, the worldwide research community will prevail in the end. Finally, I would like to thank the AECC and Her Majesty the Queen for bestowing upon me the V. de Vida Prize for 2016. This is truly a great honor and one that I accept with deep humility and gratitude on behalf of the millions of people around the globe whose lives have been touched by cancer and the many more who are working so hard to help them. Dr. Glass will accept the award on my behalf. Major challenges lie ahead. But together, I know we can rise to meet them. Thank you, and best wishes to all for a wonderful and historic event.